Hello my minion, how are you doing? Alright? Uh, what we're doing today, we're in the wood shop and since I've changed my tech from metal work to woodwork, and it is rough woodwork, uh, wood green stuff and things like that, um, stuff that's really peaceful to work with, you know, particularly if you're out in a woodland, but we're not in a woodland today, we're in the wood shop because it's minging it down. Um, but I've started carving little figures, carving the mushrooms and all the other things and what have you, but I've considered going into a bit of wood spoon making. And so what I needed first was um, like a little butcher's block thing to carve my wood spoons on. Uh, a friend of mine's asked for one, if I can do one, so it's been on the to-do list. And I've got a big to-do list as well, you know. But uh, what I've got so far, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what we're up to. A friend of mine gave me a wood block. Can you see that? Go down a bit. Yeah, give me a nice chunky bit of wood there. It's heavy because it's soaked, it's been outside. So what I'm proposing to do is make some legs for it, just like a butcher's block. And I've got some pieces of 4x2 and I've already done the angle and then what I'm going to do is I've got to fasten these around the uh, block for some legs so that's where I'm going to be finishing off today um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I've got a wood block, so I'm just going to make a small recess in here where that, that fits. I've drawn a a little section round, and I'm just going to use it for it to sit in, recess, just a little bit. And then I've got some long bolts, which I've bought, bear with me. Still there, still there. Uh, some coach screws. Are the coach screws or coach bolts? I think I think the bolts because there's a nut on the end in there. And then what I'll do is when these are in position I'll drill them and I'll fasten them in with these. So that's the first part of the spoon making. Just putting the equipment together. I, I know you could just put it against though, but I'm a faffer as well, you know. So I'd like to have one of these, because they're, they're really good for working on. So, that's what we're up to. So I'm going to be cutting these little chunks out and marking them off. How are you on that? Yeah, you can see it. So, get my trusty mallet. Something else I made, just a little wooden mallet. It's it's nice playing with wood. I've I've always wanted to do it, uh, but being a welder or ex welder in general, uh, you can't put wood and welding and engineering together. You know when I'm fixing my bike or something, because <coughs> the dust just gets everywhere and they don't mix. Now I've got this little workshop I can uh, mess about here. Last summer it was the um, windmill. But this summer doesn't look very promising. If you look at the weather outside, it's crazy. So yeah, I'll get these legs into position and then. Uh, Show you how far we've got. So I got one. That's a light level.
Should be that's about right. Similar now then where's me uh it's cold in here, my hands are cold. Nearly March, <coughs> spring lambs are here and it's freezing and sleeting it down. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yes! I thought you might agree. Absolutely crazy weather. Some <coughs> I should have brought the impact driver. Oh, I suppose it's still better than a spanner. I'll keep this under cover. I'm not. I'm not going to leave it outside. I'll. Uh, Use it just outside porch there. It'd be very handy that actually this because like when I've had trees that have come down and things like that, branches, not having a chipper, another good way of doing it, and it's quite relaxing. Call me sad if you want. Sad. Alright, alright, alright. Um, you just get your axe. You get your branches and you just or it could be chop 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 so you end up with a big pile of them and then you can burn them it saves having a, a really noisy shredder and uh, it's quite relaxing I've just got a, an old tall tree trunk for that in times past Uh, that's not going to go anywhere. Right, just another two to do now. Right, I'm digressing. I'll just carry on. Right. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, nope. one down, two to go. Wood's lovely to work with. Obviously, this is no. Uh, what's the word? I forgot the name of the famous wood wood thingy. Um, never mind. <laughs> Good. So I went and got my thing. You'll find I say thing or whatever a lot. Be a lot easier. Especially if you've got to take it back out for some month. So tools and that. Make sure that looks pretty straight ish. So that there. And you have to counter sink these a bit to be able to get your nuts on the end. Or the bolt head, should I say. Right, where's my big repair at? As with most things, this is scrap wood again. It's all tap. But that's all you want it for, isn't it? For tap stuff. Sinks in that. The chicken's just flown in front of that window, it just got startled me. Now. 
these make quick work of stuff for these uh, wrenches I'd uh, definitely advise investing in them You know, checking in before the second one goes in, make it spin on that. In all honesty, I had one snap on me when I was taking it back out to recorrect it, so make sure you get it as tight as you can in first place. Uh, I'm going to put another one or screw in the back there just to stop the legs from twist, twisting. Right, okay, you've seen how that is. Carry on now. Uh, I'm just going to put some extra screw holes either side at legs just to stop any wobble. To either side, and we're not back. So it's rock solid. Yeah, right. Nearly there. You know, I put some of these braces in just to stop legs moving at the bottom. And what I've done is, they're all screwed in place. But I'm just putting an extra nail in. Oh, you're bad. I want this to last, you see, I don't want to start using it and then all of a sudden it just uh, fall, it comes apart. Excuse me, leaning over. I don't know if you uh, that's watching me are thrifty. So this day and age things are so expensive, I mean that's why I use a lot of reclaimed timber and what have you. But um, what I do for my shelves, um, my little dog has sardines on a morning for tea, no not for tea, he has sardines for breakfast, that's it get it right, sardines for breakfast. So then what I do then with the tins, uh, last washes them and then I make them into these little storage containers so you've got a load there and they're really really handy you don't you don't tripod at the moment don't fall there you go and uh, in there so you can put your screws in it and such I know you can get these plastic trays and what have you I've had them but I really like these it's a bit of utilization and what have you so yeah, I think they're very handy. Because sometimes you only need a few or something and you're just looking through your drawers and so there's a handy tip for you. Get some of them. So there you go. There's the uh, handmade chopping block. I think that's pretty good actually and it's uh, it's very level. Just out of curiosity. Excuse me. It'll do. It'll do, don't look. No, it's okay actually, it's just right for working on. 
So what I need to do now is get my pieces of wood like this that I got given off Nick. My mate tr Tricky Nicky Marks. Mart, that's it, Tricky Nicky Martin. If you like stories read to you by PG Woodhouse, give him a look. He's a really good reader, very entertaining. I'm just moving you up in air there. So that's Tricky Nicky Marts. And he'll read you the story. How's that, eh? Give him a look, I'm sure you'll be entertained. Right, um, this is something else I made quite a while ago. That's an old Land Rover spring. And I'll just be right for cutting my wood on my new block. Up in it, that's tough. <laughs> that's not very good, is it? The humiliation. Right, we'll try it again. Away from a knot. Okay. There we go. Probably could do with a sharpen. Yeah, it does. It wants a bit of a sharpen. But yeah, that's something else out of note. I didn't, I didn't do a video of this, I, uh, I just made it and that's it. So that's the Land Rover, Land Rover leaf spring straightened out, welded to that bar. And then, there you go, something else for now. Yeah, I think what I need, I'll have to go to the metal shop for that. Just a couple of dog leg handles just to lift it then I can move it about then I don't I don't want to be grabbing it underneath and yanking it because my stomach won't take it I've got an hernia so I have to be careful um, so yeah a couple of dog leg angles and I can move it with my knee yep can you hear it it's raining again now bit of sleep so yeah that's good all I've got to wait for now is my spoon knife to come. I just ordered one last night, um, a Mora 164 spoon knife I think it is. So that's going to take a while to come. And we can make a start then. I think the next film will be on the spoon making. See what I take here, how should we make of that? Yeah, um, find decent size drill Excuse my back the thing is there isn't too much room in here width ways so I can't get around so it's got a flat spot I think use there I mean coming up, up at an angle a bit. So I'll make a couple of those. Okay, back to the project. Another day. Right, these are the dog legs. I wasn't gonna film these been done, but uh, just did them. All as it is piece of half inch bar, five inch, two pieces of round bar, four inch and some spikes put on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to fasten them into there and then it'll make it easier to lift up them. One on one side, one on the other. But what I'll do is I'm going to drill into the trunk so far. I'm not, I'm not going to bash it all the way in. Um, so I'll make some holes and um, put them in then but I only have to drive them in so far if that makes sense ok right I'll put you on the tripod it won't hurt honest
Tiff, what is this? Yeah, that's going anywhere fast. So, make a mark and do the other side. Two handles for the handling of. Yeah, with your knee underneath and them two handles. I mean, I'm going to keep it on porch anyway, but. Right, so another thing that we're going to need on there. Um, there's a nice block of wood to be able to lean your piece of tree while you're knocking it. Is that in, that's still in line? I don't know. That should be about right. So yeah, when you put your piece of wood on and you're shaping it, you need a piece of wood there. Let's mark this piece of wood off. Band saw and then shape it up. Yeah, it's just dead easy to move now. Seems an awful lot of faffing about, doesn't it? But it's the way I do it because I like faffing. End of. I mean, even the legs. Uh, I mean, a lot of people just make them very rough. They hollow out three holes at the bottom of the block with, with an auger, and then just trim some wood and stick it in, but. The ones I have been using, they um, they just move about a lot. I mean, it's nice. It looks nice when it's all rustic and what have you, and you're in the woodland. But you don't want it falling off, do you? So.
bear with me. Uh, longer nail. There we go, that's pretty straight. So I just want to make a couple of small holes. I'm going to Don't move, hold that thought. Thank you as well for the majority of people that have liked and subscribed to me. I really appreciate that. But if you're new to the channel and um, you like what you see, it's diversity. Because it all depends on how I feel, what I'm doing. So if you want to follow me, just like and subscribe. There's a hoe. Much appreciated. two in now and then that really will be it really will be it so the driver it's his day off So that's definitely it, definitely it, honest. So you can check it out now. We've got his handles, got a nice backstop to work on or from. Solid legs. That'll do me. And you know it cost me I think couple of quid just for the bolts everything I'm just messing I'm checking the camera off here there we go you're free go on fly 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 no never no, mind no. yeah so I'm quite pleased with that nice and solid so maybe the next video that um, I make it'll be carving a spoon although so I'm waiting for my hook knife at the moment don't know when that's going to come but yeah that'll last me years that that'll see me through if I've been old enough as it is now right okay then thank you very much for coming on this one with me um, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself not just Cobble one up, make something that's quite solid and sturdy. And as I've said always, you can pick your materials up for next to no if you open your eyes and have a look around. Okay, then, so then, thank you very much. Don't forget, if you like this and you like something different, like and subscribe. Okay, bye for now. Bye.